testify divine First John chapter 5 verse 7 no lie Can you see the Godhead's design? Revelation 21 verse 7 divine sign Jesus, God in heaven reigning supreme No weapon from condemn the blessed dream God's alive, reverence, face, no tokens Perfect love, holy one, never broken Three and one, Godhead's group begun Godhead, the victory is won Let him know brother Let him know Okay, bro. So just a respectable conversation, brother. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's that's. Well, that's okay. That was just yeah. Okay. okay. We're getting the passage, no? No. What's the passage about? It's a killer post date in the Bible. It's in Deuteronomy 2020. I mean 20 something. But I want to read it out to the people. You said to kill them. Because I believe Christians now they become like liberals. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, they become liberals. They don't really follow. God's teaching. Here we go. Punishment of apostate. Is that if they uh, that's in the Deuteronomy 13. Yeah. If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and he gives you a sign or a wonder, and his sign or a wonder comes to pass, of which let us know. Okay, no, no, here, here. Ah, here. If your brother 13 6, yes, you're showing me 13 6. Yeah, yeah. If your brother, the son of your mother, your son, or your daughter, the wife of your bosom, yes, or your friend, look, look, your wife, your brother, your daughter, who is as your own soul, secretly entices you. Saying, Let us go and serve other gods which you have not known, neither know you, uh, neither you nor your fathers of the gods of the people which are all around you, near to you, or far off from you, from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. You shall not consent to him or listen to him, nor shall you eyes pity him, nor shall you spare him or conceal, conceal him, but you shall, you, you shall surely kill him. And your hand should be first and get him to put him to death. And afterwards, the hands of all the people, and you shall stone him with the stones until he dies. So, what do you think about stoning the prostate? Okay, so I don't believe we do that today. Who's uh, no, 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 that's not the question. Okay. Was God right when he said stone the prostate and kill him? Okay, yeah, so I could explain it. So, in this verse, brother, this is about this is a theocratic situation a theocratic society where god is judging so god is judging in this verse but no, you no, know no 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 no, no. But that's god what... is not judging god is commanding people god is no, judging. No, no, it's commanding people yeah okay? exactly so the people so if god if god exactly. said exactly. my question you haven't answered it no okay when god said to kill a poor state and stone him to death was god right or wrong is it something at... bad or, or good to kill poor state okay at the time but I, 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 that's what I'm saying. The God's commandments. You know when God commands something. Yeah. Does He command us with evil or with good? So, God's just. God is just, and He always makes the right decision. Okay. He commands okay. us with good, not evil. Okay. So when He said to kill a poor state, is something evil or good to do? Okay. To kill a poor state, that's turning to death. Yeah. Obviously, look at the context. Read the context. Read the no, context. Brother, brother. You've, no. been, you've been a politician here. Brother, I'm not being a yeah, politician. politician. You know what's it's, your name? But you know it's Old Covenant. Huh? You know it's Old Covenant. Be Muslim. Be Muslim. Brother, uh, what's your name? Oh, you know, my name's Godhead. Godhead, okay. My name's Shamsi. Okay, okay listen, nice to me, brother. Nice to you, nice to you. Listen, uh, Godhead. Bro, please. I mean, what does that mean? A guy asked me. I don't know, what's he, said, he said, he said, he said, one guy he, is he born, wanted, one guy is a boy. He wanted to know my name. He wanted to know my name. Then he wanted to, he wanted my number. Then he wanted to take me shopping. And then I mean, come on! <laughs> and then he will call the home office for us. <laughs> anyway, my it's question was to you. Yeah. When God said to kill a prostate and spawn him to death, is something which is good or bad? Okay. Can I answer? I, my answer, brother. My answer, brother. And I want to ask you a question. Before I want to ask you a question. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the time? It's coming home, inshallah. It's coming home, yeah? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's football, coming home. Football, yeah, yeah. Huh? England. England, England is coming home. We have to support England, man. It's coming home, inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess us. 
Get him, get him. He do Spanish, Spanish. <laughs> Okay, can I ask you a question, brother? No, 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 no. Okay, you want to still. But I, okay. I want to emphasize on this. And then we. You know, you know, you know my way of giving dawah. I'm not here to entertain people for the sake of uh, debating. Yes. I'm here to give dawah. If you're not interested, there's a guy there. I can't see he's interested. Which you one? Know? There's two English guys there. I want to give them dawah. So my question to you again, okay, no for the, the after five times, we in God said to kill apostates. Salam alaikum. When He said to kill apostates and stone him to death, yes, is something which is good to do or evil to do? It, it at the time, bro, because basically this was theocracy during the times of Moses. But I'm not asking at that time or not. I'm asking you, was it good or not? At the time, yeah, yeah, of course. It was good. It was fine. So stoning, judgment. So, so stoning to people, stoning people to death is not inherently evil. Now it's not allowed. No, it, it, you know, it's inherently evil. Well, how, but how can you say we're in a different covenant? That's the Brother, thing. I'm not asking different covenants or not. The fact that God allowed it to happen, okay. therefore, it means doesn't mean it's evil all the time. Okay? And okay. firstly, the Jewish Related. people now, yeah, Jewish yeah. people now, yeah. they still believe in the Old Testament, correct? Yeah, the Jewish people. Yeah, Jewish people, yeah. yeah. Well, not, not all of them. I, I understand so that. So, like, the Messianic Jews, they've accepted Christ I understand as their that. Lord and Savior. Look, we don't have to talk about something which we agree on. Like, okay. Likewise, the Christians, not all the Christians interpret the Bible the way you interpret it. Yeah. You understand? It's a different topic. My point here, Jewish people still doing it. So, my question to you, that you, you, when I ask not, you, but you say they're still doing it. Yeah. Do you believe that though? They're still stoning people. That's the, no, they don't follow it. I don't know if they're still following it. No, no, I don't but, think they still. But they still believe it's I don't valid. Think they still stone people. No, no, but they still believe it's valid. They still, they think it's valid. Okay, okay. No, no, they think they believe it's valid. valid. But they don't do it. Brother, like but, countries, I know countries, not I know every you mean. country do their stoning to death. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, I mean, I'm sorry, to be honest, post state in the film, I don't, you don't stone him. Because you know, with Muslim, it's different because you have Muslim countries, yeah. but with Judaism, with, with the Jews, they only have one country. Yes. They only go one country. No, so yeah. therefore, here, there's a Christian here. He said, it's good, God, when he said to kill a poor state, that was a good thing to do. Okay, so, no, come on, bro. <laughs> it's not? At the time. At that time, or after But not time. now. No, because okay. we're under a different covenant, bro. Okay, you're claiming that. Okay, you are claiming this. This yeah, is yeah. a proof for that. Okay, but the point here is, and that was all loving God who said that. Yeah, no loving so God. So all yeah. loving God, he said to kill apostates, put him to death. But you know why, brother? Because he clearly said why. No, no. He said, he you said, know, you know. Yes, brother, brother. It was, it was. Muslims are dying. Muslims are dying. I mean, I can't give dawah. What should I do? Should I kill myself too? I did last week. I did watch my video. That's dawah. The, the debate of Zionists defending Palestine. Uh, that's dawah. That's dawah. There was Zionist guy I spoke to, and I showed him that Zionist has no. Then has no right for Palestine. Palestine belongs to Palestinians. Yes, Jewish people will be living there, but they live under the government of Palestine. Because Palestine belongs to Palestine. So, so I'm giving dawah. So, he's, he's not doing nothing. He's not talking about Palestine. He's yeah. not doing nothing. He's into it. Yeah, he's into it. Brother, the, brother yeah, he's he's trying to sidetrack you. Though. Anyway, but the point is that. Can I, can I, can I just make one quick point, yes. brother? Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. You watch football? Yeah, I watch football. I watch football. I watch football. But, okay, really quickly. Yeah. Really quickly. Basically, right? You couldn't just stone anyone anyhow. You needed two or three witnesses. And also, it was according to Genesis 3.15 to preserve the bloodline of the Messiah. That was the whole point. That's the only reason why we have theocracy. That's so why it's ended with Jesus. So That's why it's not, the, you're not supposed to do it anymore. For the sake of saving the blood of the Messiah, you kill innocent people? No, preserve, preserve the promised Messiah. Because the yeah, promise- what has to do with stoning? Brother, the passage yes, explains itself. Uh, yeah, if you mix, intermingle. Yeah, I understand that, okay. but the passage explains itself. It says, if, if you're a wife, yeah, if yeah. you're a daughter, yeah. your brother, your exactly. son, yeah, exactly. incite you to worship God, exactly. other than the God of the yes. Israelites, exactly. you should do it, not the judge, no, not understand. the court. I understand, yeah. Islamically, you know, Islamically kill a prostate, yeah. you have to go for process. Firstly, you give him a time it's, to it's, repent. It's, it's, 
Yes. It's, this is theocracy. Anyway, take care of yourself. Yeah, brother. No, really good talking. We'll talk again. We'll talk again. Yeah. So, guys, um, that was um, a fairly quick uh, conversation uh, with Shamsi. And what I was trying to share with Shamsi, basically, one second. Okay, one second, guys. We're going to try and find. Okay, guys. So basically, that was um, a fairly quick conversation with Shamsi. Um, he could have taken it and made it a little bit more personal and mocked, but you know, Shamsi didn't. But he's got to understand where he's reading. He's reading Deuteronomy chapter 13, okay? And there's a process before you stone. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let the matter be established, okay? That's what it says in the Old Testament. And so, therefore, it's not just stoning people based on a whim. That's not, that's not what it, we're seeing, even in, you know, the theocratic times, the, 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 the book of Deuteronomy. But actually, and this is a little bit of a misconception in uh, Islam. It's a bit of a misconception. And it was interesting because I came with, I was coming with a question, but um, Shamsi wanted to talk about something... Um, such as Deuteronomy 13, almost trying to justify stoning, which is something we uh, do not support. We do not support, as Christians, stoning. But back to Deuteronomy 13, okay? Capital punishment in the Bible required witnesses, okay? Capital punishment in the Bible, okay, was a means to preserve the promised Messiah. And I show you why. This is what I wanted to kind of um, expand on. So let's read Genesis 3, verse 15. I, 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 was, I was glad the fact that I, I managed to, to, to get that in um, as part of uh, the conversation, even, even though it was um, uh, fairly quick. So, and, and hopefully we will talk again. But... Genesis 3.15, it's very important people can see the reason why theocracy um, uh, was there in the first place. Look what it says. Look what it says. It says, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Did you hear that, guys? Okay. The seed of a woman, which would be the Messiah, okay, through the people of Israel, will crush the works of the devil. Remember the verse in the Bible where it says, for this reason, Christ was manifest. To, to do what? To do what? To destroy the works of the devil. That was the plan. That was the plan. So guys, um, I don't want people to be confused. I don't want people to uh, get it wrong. Very, very clearly in scripture, theocracy, capital punishment, wasn't God being uh, uh, um, destructive or hateful or racist and all this. But actually, it was a process by which God would preserve the Messiah. And when your theology doesn't have Jesus within it, it becomes increasingly different, difficult, for example, like in Islam, to understand the true requirement that God had in the Torah, in the Old Testament. 
It wasn't that God didn't have a plan to end theocracy, but he had a plan to fulfill it. Like the Bible says, he didn't come to abolish the door, but to fulfill. When Christ came, he was the uh, heart of the Father. He was love manifested in the flesh. He was love manifested in the flesh. And, and, and so that's what I was, um, in a very um, short way, trying to say to um, Shamsi. And, and maybe uh, in, in the future, we'll talk again and expand. Okay. So, we know that God has a plan. He has a plan for the very creation he made with his own hands. He has a plan. He implemented his plan. His redemptive plan in the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And he will fulfill it and finish it in his second return. So there's prophecies that are outstanding that will be fulfilled. That's, what I'm, that's where I'm coming from. He finished the work of salvation on the cross. Now it's incumbent on us to be responsible. You as, you as human beings have no right to take anyone's life. That is anathema. You have no right to take anybody's life. Because when you do, you reduce the value shown on the cross. You reduce and you put to shame, if you're saying you're Christian and you're killing people, because we know Christ died on the cross and you put him to an open shame again. So, we do not support murder, we do not support capital punishment. Absolutely we don't. We support love. Why? Because everybody has the capacity to change. And that's one of the questions I would have asked Shanti. What about the person's capacity to change? Because if you're stoning them, okay, there needs to be a sort of uh, framework in place. You still need the Holy of Holies. You still need the temple. There's no temple. In 70 AD, it was destroyed as prophesied in the book of Matthew 24. There will be not one stone left upon another. You need the whole framework if you want to do stoning. It doesn't exist no more. So guys, we know um, it's important to realize this and to realize, you know, that it's time to accept Christ. It's time to appreciate and acknowledge that no more stoning, no more capital punishment is required. Jesus said it well, it is finished. It is finished. So, by the grace of God, um, we'll keep doing what we're doing, we'll keep um, sharing the gospel and enlightening people, um, even for however short it is. Because, you know, some people may not want to entertain the experienced Christian because as you engage and as you take time to engage with the experienced Christian you begin to see your worldview potentially crumble because it's not the Christian it's the Word of God it's not the Christian is the spirit of truth it's not the Christian it's God Almighty
Seen it all, mate. So, guys, so may the grace of God <clears throat> continue to follow us and be with us. Um, crazy what's going on. Okay, so guys, um, yes, so clearly we see in the scripture, Jesus says, an eye for an eye, you may have heard, an eye for an eye and a two for a two. But this I say to you, if somebody slaps you, turn the other cheek. That was Jesus showing the fulfillment and the intention of what we see in the Torah with regards to capital punishment. Actually, the Torah is really about mercy. But at the same time, it has justice. Justice is often emphasized more than the mercy in the Torah. Remember, like it says in um, Exodus chapter 20, this is a sign of um, the mercy, which is, which is what Jesus had an issue with. That sometimes, you know, the, the Pharisees would emphasize on the capital punishment, but they wouldn't emphasize on the mercy and the love. Now look at this. Look what it says in um, Exodus chapter 20, verse uh, 4 to six. One second, one second. Four to six. One second. One second. Uh, four to six. It says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So, hallelujah. So as you can see, justice, justice in limitation, but mercy and love to the thousands and to the thousands and to the thousands. So, this is obviously um, Muslims trying to emphasize what actually um, they still do, which is stoning. It's not even in the Quran. Stoning um, and the sucklings, those two, are, they're, not in the, they're not in the Quran. So, very interesting why um, that's the case. Why is it missing? You got stuff missing from the Quran. But anyway, I just showed you just there, and that's typical of Muslims to justify what they do, that God is a merciful God. The intention is to be merciful. He emphasized about idolatry. Okay, but what we see in this verse is that although there was capital punishment to preserve the promised Messiah, not mixing with idolaters and thereby destroying the bloodline of uh, where the Messiah would come from. What we see is the same idolatry that God is saying, I will show mercy to the thousands and the thousands that, that love me. But then for those that don't, it will be limited to the third and to the fourth generation. To the third and to the fourth generation. Isn't that amazing? In verse 6, Exodus chapter 20. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. 
So even the justice is heavily weighed on the love. Yes. Heavily weighed on the love that God has for those who obey. So I just want to end there and just pray that God continues to, to open, open, open the hearts, to open the hearts of uh, the Muslims and show them and show them his love and his care. So God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavens blow me free, testify divine. First John chapter 5 verse 7, no lie. Can you see the Godhead's design? Revelation 21 verse 7, divine sign. Jesus, God in heaven, reign supreme. No weapon from condemn the blessed dream. God's alive, reverence, face, no tokens. Perfect love, holy one, never broken. Three and one, Godhead's group begun. Godhead, the victory is won. Let him know, brother. Let him know. Uh huh, yeah. Come on. Let him know, brother.